much work. Oh, come on, honey, help me. Oh dear. It's not quite a bit last night. I need to shovel. But I really don't want to do it alone. Perhaps I can ask to help me. Of course. Oh, you could try to escape. But I'll make sure you don't. Don't worry, darling. <laughs> darling, hello. You awake? <laughs> I have a task for you today. Well, you see, it snowed quite a bit last night. Like about a foot of snow. I need help shoveling. Come on. You know, this is a treat for you. I wouldn't do this if I didn't have to. It's not exactly something I want to do on my own. And since you're here, why don't you take this opportunity to get some fresh air? <laughs> Great. Oh, and darling, remember this. Don't try to run. Okay. Good. Because if you do try running, I make sure you regret it. You won't see the outside world for a very, very long time. Oh, and another thing here. Yes, it is a collar. You want to know what type of collar it is? Oh, you're so smart. Yes, it is a shock collar. So don't try anything silly, darling. <laughs> I'm hoping you can use that big brain of yours to figure it out. <laughs> Come on now. Good, because like I said, you will regret trying to do anything. Maybe I should test it real quick. To make sure you're aware of the consequences. <laughs> no, you're so cute, begging. You better make sure you listen to me. I work on the end of the driveway. You work on the path closer to the house. Yeah, just shovel it off into the grass. <sighs> oh my god. I'm so happy I have some help with this. <sighs> There's so much snow. It would be brutal to do this on my own. Luckily, he seems to be aware of what will happen. Should we try use this a chance to escape? No shoveling sucks. I should really get a snowblower or something. It would make me live easier when this happens. Hmm? Oh, you're done with your part? Wait, are you kidding me? There's still a ton of snow here. I mean, look at this. You need to get more of the snow off of. Oh. Hey darling, stop! That's what I thought. What a shame! I thought you would have known better. But you did not. Oh darling, you're finally awake again. Darling, did you really think that it was a good idea? Trying to hit me with a shovel? I can't believe you would be so damn reckless. I guess I can barely understand you since you gagged. The mistake has cost your speaking privileges for a bit. I hope you can understand why. You know, 
I could have been really hurt by that shower. You could have given me a concussion or maybe even killed me. Do you really hate me that much? Too weird you'd consider killing your partner. It doesn't matter if you hate me or not. You're stuck here with me forever and you're going to be my partner and that's final. No. Anyway, for your punishment, well, I guess I'll just keep you tied up again for longer. And maybe I'll cut down on how much I feed you. Oh, of course I'll feed you. I mean, you might miss lunch from now on. I still make sure you eat breakfast and dinner. Maybe I shouldn't cook your favorites since you have been super naughty. Ah, <sighs> super naughty. Well, it's okay, because despite the fact that you basically tried to kill me, I still love you. Nothing could make me stop loving you. Though I must say, I have been beyond patient with you, darling, and you keep disobeying and not accepting my undying love for you. It's making me really upset. You know we were running a bit low on supplies. I had to go out today to get some stuff for us. I was thinking of making one of your favorite meals for dinner tonight. No, I won't make it. Since you are so naughty, darling, it's going to take even longer for me to get everything for us. I do so much for you. No, I do everything for you. I feed you. I take care of you. I try to comfort you when you need it. And this is how you repay me? You literally decided to try to run. I mean, there was quite a bit of snow, so you couldn't run very fast. But that's besides the point. I gave you the privilege to go outside with me and get some fresh air. And instead, you used that as an attempt to escape. Just because your gag doesn't mean I don't understand what you're trying to say. I can hear that you're calling me crazy. How dare you? I'm in love with you. I'm not crazy. Stop struggling or I use the shock collar again. Good. Now why don't you just settle down for a bit, okay, darling? I know, this isn't exactly easy for you, but it is what it is. Actually, I don't understand how it's not easy for you. I mean, you don't really have to do anything. All I asked was for you to help shovel my driveway. But instead you acted like a homicidal maniac, swinging that shovel at me. Oh, come on. We all know that's different. I hurt you out of love, not out of hatred like you did. <laughs> you know, I really don't understand it. You have it amazing being here with me. Why? 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 Why don't you love me? Why would you try to kill me, darling? I love you so much and you do something so... Horrible. I need you, darling. I need you. The sooner you realize that and accept my love, the sooner things will be easier. <laughs> I think I need some time alone for a bit. I'm really upset with you, darling. You get it? I check on you when it's time for dinner. See you later, darling. I love you, even if you hate me. <laughs>